We are making chicken broth. Oh, all right. We're canning chicken broth. <laughs> yeah. I made the chicken broth last week. Looks real nice. I started the chicken broth. You finished it. Well, yeah. Okay. Was out of town. Yeah, you it was went. A combined effort. Oh yeah. Yeah, like ten minutes into it, you put it in the water. <laughs> It was my idea. If one person doesn't start, the other one never finishes. I'm yeah. the starter. You're the finisher. Yeah. You want to get a video in there before I put the okay. wood on? So, yeah. Got the, uh, the quartz, pints, quartz. quartz in there, and we're going to start canning. And we're going to can a lot of it because we got a lot. That's a lot. We had, what, eight roosters? I think I put eight roosters and like 10 feet in there. I got terrible lighting right now. I'm sorry. I know she looks just look like a silhouette. So Here we go. There we more. go. There we go. Now we can see. Okay. So experts. We just got the lid on. We're experts. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna wait till the steam starts coming out of this. Um, so keep an eye on that yourself. And when it starts steaming, let me know. And then we'll put our little. Are you telling me? Yeah. Cap on. Yes. I, I gotta keep an eye on that. We both are. Oh, it's okay. A team effort. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you were talking to me or the people watching. <laughs> Sorry. We'll both be keeping an eye on it. Yeah. I'm gonna go start the one inside because okay. we've got two canners going today. Oh. We're gonna get it up to, I'll have to consult my book, I think 10 pounds of pressure. That was 11. Seems like everything that I've done is always 11 pounds of pressure. Oh, look at Bo. We, we shaved Bo. He looks like such a different says, dog. Put weighted gauge on vent. Bring pressure to 10 pounds. Oh, 10 pounds, okay. Oh, look at you. Look at Bo. He's got a haircut. So soft. He's not the homeless looking dog anymore. Yeah, show off. Yeah. Yeah, look at you. Everyone can see your face. Alright, like my wife says, uh, gotta keep an eye on this. It's been in the uh, refrigerator. You wanna cool it down and get all that grease on the top. We skimmed it off, so... Yeah, it's gonna be nice. This part of the process takes a while. Alright. Sorry, that all was right. my time. <laughs> okay, it just hit 10 pounds and we got 25 minutes. 25 minutes. All right. Quartz. If it was pints, it would be 20 minutes. Okay, it was quartz, 25 minutes. Pints, 20 minutes. Everyone wants to see my vintage coffee cup. <laughs> I took it from work when I retired from there. It's the least they could do for me. No one else cleaned it. Watch your teacups. Mm -hmm. I'll do a proper video one day of making chicken broth. Probably do, do that during the winter time. Because that's something I do a lot in the winter time. I just constantly make chicken broth because it's, it's nice to have a nice warm cup of chicken broth in the winter time. So uh, yeah, and uh, when you're canning and you got mason jars in there, always add some vinegar into your canning thing because otherwise uh, it clouds up the glass and you just you just get cloudy. Mason jars, and I don't doesn't do anything to the chicken broth. It just it is nicer not to have cloudy mason jars. All right, so this is what my wife has been doing. This is beef broth, just plain old beef broth, no flavors or anything. Just straight all the nutrition out of the bones and meat. Uh, we'll add the flavors. This is basically a base for you know whatever we're cooking. This is. Um, there's five jars of uh, blackberry jam that my wife also made. And there's a couple of chicken broth back there and that's also chicken broth. So yeah, my wife's been busy. So yeah, that's, that's awesome to have all that stuff. Alright, timer just went off. You just shut, it, shut the flame off and just let it cool down. And you gotta wait until that thing pops down again. And don't ever, don't do anything until that pops down. Getting the other jars ready. I have water in them. I've hot water, yeah. Hot, hot so water. To keep them warm so the change in temperature doesn't crack them. Alrighty, that just fell down, so I'm gonna open it up now. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We shouldn't be doing that. That's. We gotta make this a positive. <laughs> if only it just shows how we're still uh, uncomfortable with canning. Yeah. <laughs> we're Remember, we're not pros. We are not pros. People are like, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I was 
thinking today, like, <laughs> especially since we're from California and a lot of our family and friends don't can. And when I was growing up, I thought it was just something they did like in prairie times that people still did not can. And then we moved to the Midwest, it's like a whole, a whole thing. It's a, life, it's a lifestyle out here. <laughs> um, but what I was thinking about is even if, I think there's a question of like why can when you can buy it at the store? Like why do they go to the trouble of canning? Um, and I think at, at its most fundamental level for me is I cook better than the store. <laughs> like I love our chicken broth. It is so good. It tastes good and it elevates every recipe we make with it because we're starting with a really delicious base. And then you think about the fact that we raised those chickens. We saw them eating grass and bugs. We know what they were fed. They had sunlight. So you know that the broth was made from a really healthy source. Um, and then on the next level, it's also like we bought those chickens, we bought the feed, our time that was spent raising them, Sancte's time spent raising them, uh, my emotional support. And we're really getting all the money we can get out of those chickens. So it's not just the meat, but then we're using the carcasses and we're just getting the most bang for our buck. We're getting the most nutrients out of the food we possibly can. It tastes way better than the grocery store. And yeah, it's gonna t it takes time, it takes like two days. One day we make the broth, then we let it cool, and then the second day we're canning it. But we're gonna have so many cans. Um, so basically this is bug juice, because the chickens ate bugs. That's gross, don't put that on there. <laughs> oh, and when you're doing this, buy a good one of these things. I have to use tape keep this handle together because it popped off and Angela almost burnt herself. Okay, so this is the boring part of the canning. It's just, you gotta wait for pressure to build up. As soon as steam comes out of that little pipe pole right there, throw the heavy weight on top. And then that's just the waiting game. I'm out to get some basil for my wife. She wants some basil for her sandwich. I don't know if I've already said this in my last video, but a deer came in and ate all my tomatoes off my tomato. There's some few cherry tomatoes left, but all my big ones down here, they're all gone. All gone. They were a bunch of just chewed up tomatoes. And it's not like they ate it all. They just kind of took like a big old bite out of each one and just kind of spit it out. So I got a few back and then they ate all the tops off all my tomato plants too. So I got, yeah, it's, but it's starting to regrow, regrow again, so. i quickly show you what I'm talking about. It's gone. Eat the tops off of every single one, but luckily, all these suckers are growing, growing back. And I'm telling you what, the chicken bedding is really doing its job. It's these plants, my tomato looks so much healthier all of a sudden. Man, I need to come in here and sucker all these things. Look at all those. I mean, that one's almost broken there. I gotta fix that. All right. Hey, Sana. Say hi. <laughs> yeah. We are on our last batch. We're on our last batch, so. Waiting for it to go back on the pressure. This is how many we've got so far. And we got how much more inside? We have like 17 pints inside and then four more in here. All right, so that will fill our broth pantry full of everything. Hey. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> All right, everything's done. Now we just gotta clean up the mess. All right, that's how many? Twenty-one pints and twenty-one quarts. Whoop whoop! Ready to go, baby? All right, that's all of the day right there.